Greetings everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to uh, do something a little bit different today. We're back in uh, Dabob Bay, HPG1. Uh, high performance groups, uh, custom scenery out here near Seattle. Uh, been a long time since I've jumped into rotors, so uh, back in the X-Plane days I was uh, I had the, uh, I believe it was a R Robinson R22, and I really liked that little thing. It was a really uh, fun little flyer and everything with the quirks and everything going on back in the day. But anyway, so kind of missed that little helicopter. And uh, Cohen Simulation has uh, put theirs out, and I've picked that up in uh, hopes that it would be as much fun as what I had in the X Plane one. <clears throat> and after uh, getting it installed and worked out a couple of kinks I've got, uh, had uh, actually it's a it's a, a fun little flyer. Actually, quite impressed with it. So anyway, uh, I've run the uh, Puma Cyclic and Collective. Uh, terminated the. Uh, anti-torque pedals because I, I tied them in with my Bruner pedals so anyway uh, got it all dialed in and I had a few little issues of the uh, cyclic uh, chattering and everything and um, I had to go through my Bruner setup and, and make some adjustments it took me a little while to get it figured out but I got there so anyway she's a beautiful little helicopter uh, we've got float package on uh, of course you've seen all the tutorials I'm not going to go through all that and do a tutorial I'm just uh, making this video for a buddy of mine uh, who is really into helicopters he has never flown the simulator and everything so I told him I'd get something picked up for him and dialed in and uh, get him over here one of these days and put him into it and see if he really really likes to fly helicopters so anyway, uh, this one's not too awful bad. Uh, I went into the Puma, and I had it kind of set for the HP uh, G H one forty five. I still haven't changed any of those settings, but what I did do is go in and I basically reset all the sensitivities in the uh, controls back to default. So. And went in it with a, a fresh perspective and I have not had to change any sensitivities in the Puma that's kind of how nice this flies now what I did do is go and take some tension off everything make it a little bit looser uh, I watch it in uh, real videos you know those things you know, is like really really kind of loose looking controls I don't, I don't know really what they feel like I did get a, a ride in a real R22 but I sit in the back and filmed a buddy of mine taking a lesson but anyway uh, it's it's a good looking little helicopter uh, it, uh, I love Robinson's it's just the the view you get and everything and just the fun of it it's a simplified helicopter uh, compared to uh, any of the Airbus stuff um, I believe it's the 160 and 145 this you know doesn't have the autopilot and all that so it's uh, it's a hands-on aircraft which is fine that's it's a, I'm just gonna do sightseeing with it and have some fun with it so anyway gorgeous I love this paint. I just picked one black there and this one looked really shiny and it shows off everything. There's lots of nice detail on it. I've got uh, my buttons assigned. Uh, now if I can commit them to memory and then when I can jump into something else and come back to this, you know, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Anyway, it seems to be state saving. So anything I've changed is actually still in effect which is nice which is the window and the shade and then the passengers I left a, I left a backpack in the back uh, topped off the fuel tanks and boy howdy she's uh, she's nice so like I said we're into Bob Bay we're just gonna do a little uh, flying around nothing too serious uh, capture this 
get it up uh, for my buddy over there so he can kind of see what he's going to get himself into here one of these days. And, uh, so it'd be nice to maybe if he likes it, you know, maybe he'll put them a simulator together and I'll be able to help him out. All right, let's uh, climb in. I'm going to try to ease myself on in. There we go. All right. Hey, that worked out. Up, oh, and then I go and hit a button, right? Okay. So I've had, I've, I've got a. Let me adjust my headset here a second. I hate it when I get like a hair in my way or something like that. Anyway, <clears throat> so I've had, I've got a, a. On my platform here, I've got a custom platform built that I can interchange and you know kind of suit what type of aircraft i'm flying and all that so i've got all that set out of the way i've got button assignments i'm trying to uh, commit to memory uh some of them are pretty cool uh, in this situation here i've got mouse to my left instead of my right and uh i've got several buttons on the puma i can Use for controls. One of them, I pop up this menu, and we are going to bring on our all-in-one tablet for sure. It's a real nice little device. We're just going to have it hung up. It looks great. Quality. Let's shrink her down. There we go. And we'll just grab this and bring it over to us and make it look like it's mounted. And I have access to data I might possibly need. I'll leave the door open during start just so we can hear some sound change. It's been a while since I've flown this thing. Uh, I'm going to make sure everything is proper. Some friction locks. I'm going to go ahead. <coughs> I thought I had this back to off, but we'll do it again there. Okay, circuit breakers all do work. Everybody knows that. That's watched any reviews. As you go down through there, <clears throat> there are no failures. I don't care about the failures. Uh, it's nice to uh, know that circuit breaker, you know, just shows the love, really. All right, so I've made uh, quite an extreme adjustment on my pedals. Uh, I wanna, this is kind of an experimental flight with that. <clears throat> so hopefully I won't have to jump out and change anything. So, I'm trying to, uh, there is a checklist down here, I, I'm not much on the checklist, so we pretty much know how to do a helicopter, right? We're going to uh, bring on a key, and then we're going to bring on our strobe, and we'll bring on our navs. Landing light is in the off position. Generator off. We'll bring on our battery. We'll arm the floats. Okay. Pedo heat. Alright, so now I've got, let's see, throttles all the way closed. So, from what I understand, you hit the starter, and I've got that assigned. Uh. There we go. No, we're not. <laughs> Fuel. Hurt myself on that one. All right, let's do it again. Still learning. All right, starter. Just a quick touch. Nope, got to hold it. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. So I have a... Okay, there we go. All right, fire it. Yep, butt kicker's kicking. So I'm playing around with the different instrument panels. I 
Nice. Quite a kick in the butt. I'll tell you. Ah, I think you're supposed to let that run for a minute or so, and then you can bring next gen on. We'll go ahead and bring it on now. Bring up the avionics. I do have the uh, PMS50 GTN 750. All I gotta do is remember uh, HPG1 to return here. Something in my nose piece. Miles after the direction of only level two, three, zero. We're looking uh, let's close door. Okay, so I noticed in the miscellaneous settings that there is a an assignment and I'm trying keyboard. I know it doesn't work on uh, hardware, but it's for the uh, hardware simulation so I'm going to press that now and see if that does anything remember what, what it was oh. yeah I can't remember which one uh, got it. Nah. my memory Southwest 1375, Southwest So that's where we're at. Seattle's over this way. We'll kind of fly out over that way. Would like to know. Uh, I need to check that assignment. Bear with me here. We're just gonna go check. I want to. I want to see if that's working. It'd be nice if they'd start incorporating a way to uh, put on headsets. That would be so cool. So it was in keyboard, miscellaneous, toggle, uh, Okay. 33.2, have a good day. 33.2, see you in a second. Let me find it. Nope, not working. All right, so we're going to leave the sound as is. Controls, let's wind her up. Safety on, torpedo heat on. Reset altimeter. There it is. Ah, right, no promises. It's been a while since I've flown a helicopter, and this is an experimental ride. Okay, 439, South River, flight level 200, zero, River at 20. Yeah, 439, we'll cross the river at 200. Let's lift. Do that pedal. Yeah, my baby. There we go. Stabilize. Stop 
We probably play with that sensitivity on the collective a little bit. I'm trying to keep things as default as I possibly can. and get our landing line on. There we go. Other than that, after, you know, it's just getting used to the controls again. She's a nice little stable helicopter. Line a little better. Keep these. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect for control. Try to do it right. I think I like the way the pedals are. I've got them set about, I think about 30% of their full range. Just because on the Brenners, man, you really got to almost like extend your left leg all the way out. And that's a little bit more than my liking. I don't know what the wind's doing. Practice a little hover. Let's go to the right. Yeah, a lot better authority on the uh, anti torque. And the confirmed flight one, Frontier Flight 499, we're still up to flight level 230. So I, I uploaded a, uh, or downloaded a profile from uh, FS Realistic, and then I go in there and I'll try to find one. You know, maybe a, somebody's got close to the real thing. If not, I, I go in there and get one just to get started and then go in and make my adjustments so I flew it around two or three hours yesterday and checking out some of the new Caribbean scenery which is pretty awesome I still do have the uh, helicopter training course over in Italy from HPG once I get more comfortable I'll go over there and do some training and practice all this goosing around is me so I've got the the tension on the cyclic backed off quite a bit now I can let go and it does not fall and then it's just pressure fingertip pressure that's all I'm doing I got my right forearm resting on my thigh and I just probably got too much of a grip on it really just use the fingers Try to anticipate what it wants to encounter. Some of this could be wind, I do not know. I can't see. I don't have my Garmin set up to show me anything. Level three, two, zero, Frontier Flight 499. Mm, she's a fun flyer. Now, I do like the uh, the shading up there better. It seems to give you more of a, a better look, I think, in my opinion, than not seeing it. Let's go. Still trying to determine what instrument setup I like.
So I do have trim set up. Seattle. Let left pedal in. Ah, so maintain around fifteen hundred feet. Love the blade slapping. Uh, we can relax that pedal a little bit now. So this default sensitivity. You see we're cruising right along 120 knots and doesn't want to act up, so we'll back off the torque a little bit. Actually, I'm quite impressed with the flight model. The uh, lift off is on me getting used to my pedals and controls again. With the uh, H145, I was running a, a tighter tensions on them for a more smooth flight. Yeah, kind of up and down on my altitude there will correct as we fly along. Get the speed there in a better zone. So I was just free flying around uh, the Caribbean down there, TFFS I believe it was, and I had my pilot to ATC just on so I could hear radio chatter, could not get any. There was only one radio frequency out there, dialed it in and I had nothing, but that's okay. Hoping to hear some different dialect out that way. Uh, 
Yeah, I like to throw on the pedals a lot better. Just a little bit of pressure is quite a lot in the reality of the pedals. <coughs> but it feels more natural to me. Keep a little bit of lift pressure on there. So I wish, you know, I'm assuming one of these days you'll be able to click those headsets and go to headphone mode. One thing I do notice different uh, than the Robinsons I flew in X-Plane was the, the whine of the turbine back there. It's pretty cool. Nice dose of tinnitus. It's okay. Well, it'd be nice to have a yaw string up there. Losing our altitude. Let's get back up there. I've done some uh, pretty sharp turns with it. Seems to handle real well. A very, very light touch on the cyclic for sure. Over controlling is the main issue with helicopters. American 111, thank you. There's our 1500. So Pretty well go hands free of the cyclic. Still keep a little pressure on the left pedal. That's just, I'm going to give that to the atmosphere moving us. I'm just countering. about right. What happens uh, on the trimming part is you push forward. You have to maintain that constant forward of the uh, cyclic and then trim so that the cyclic comes back to a more comfortable position to maintain your uh, desired pitch. A little bit different. Seattle is going to be in the clouds.
We'll see what we can get. We're going to get a little bit mesmerized on the horizon. Clouds reflecting off the water. I can see land up there. I haven't checked rain effects or anything like that or any kind of icing. There's Seattle. We're going to turn the circle around downtown, head back to Dubai Bay, land it. Yeah, we're just looking at that now for what's left of your one. Your uh, Pullman, wonder if we can just kind of take on uh, this heading and kind of weave our way through it. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so we'll be doing some VFR flying with pilot ATC. Okay, uh, if you need it necessary. I remember sitting behind my buddy when he was right seating the helicopter and he was just all up and down like me on his altitude. I've got my burners set for hydraulic and then I've got the lowest setting. circle downtown and then we'll go look at the Space Needle, the big old ship. We'll get into some helipad landings later on. So I, I, I really appreciate the simpler helicopter what this is. You get in, fire it up and go. You ain't got to do a whole lot of button pushing and such. I'm finding myself where I'm enjoying simplified aircraft a little bit more than normal. My favorites at this point is of course the uh, PMDG 737. I'm Getting into the business jet side of it now. I like the uh, Coxpur Phenom 100. There's just several I like. I, I like the uh, Fly Simware Cessna 414, and I'm giving the Learjet 35A, a chance to get further developed. Or, um, I 
Side sand. Three quarters fuel left. Space needle. Played around much with the 650. up and down with our altitude we've hit 1700 to 1300 but we're doing all right I'll take it now I know there's an autopilot in the GTN but I, I'll play around with it one of these days but my intent is to just use this as a hand flyer and do sightseeing. Ah, do west. to try the G2 back out again, but I really got a sweet spot for Robinsons. Okay, 
Remember that time I went up with those guys, man, I tell you what, that instructor, he could fly. We were uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Riverside, and we went out west to Keystone Lake, a little airport out there, and came in, and we were hovering above the runway, and then there was a little turn out to the right he just put her sideways like he nobody's business it's like crap take me a day and a half to be able to do something like that he didn't absolute second his skills were just amazing and I was just, you know, sitting in back, taking, watching them manipulate the controls and see how it was, trying to bring it all back to the simulator and put my buddy in it and have him help me dial in what he thought felt like it was and so he could come over here and practice a little bit and I'll get this video uploaded and I got a few little chores to do and then I get back to flying it around. Don't know where I'll be flying at yet. Um, maybe do a little island hopping in the Caribbean, check out some of that new scenery down there. The, I think it was seven airports. I went to one, and it looked pretty good. It just It's a small island, but there were several <clears throat> around there, so you could kind of jump around a little bit. And so, let's see here with my tablet. We got Navigraph, Simbrief, all that in here. Loads up. So the Bob Island does not show up on it. That's okay. We know where it is. The Bob Bay, I should say. that peninsula right in here possibly that one yeah it's over on that short one right in there so as far as flying like this it feels about right because that co that helicopter was in constant motion from wind currents and all that Countering everything the uh, atmosphere is doing to you. I am quite impressed with the flight model. Practice back up on my hovering. <coughs> Go out to the training fields in Italy. I kind of like, you know, getting my controls dialed in and just leave them alone. It just, I get so tired of trying to dial stuff in. I just, this one went relatively easy. Like I said, I went to default. Instead of like increasing sensitivities and such, I just backed off tension a little bit. Gotta love the Pumas for that ability. 
put it where you want it, let your fingers off, and if the wind don't move you, you're golden. So we're just sitting here countering. One thing, if you do use the trim, make sure that you're like almost in a hover before you reset. Big sunshine peeking through there. Nice. I was saying lights out areas with continuous lights out. Nothing worse than lights and reported. I'll have you over three one in two minutes. And I'll be able to give you more updated report going out. Airport inside. Thank you. So if we get any wind off this ridge. Yep. See the turbulence moving, uh, shaking us a little bit. Well check, this is what you got coming buddy. Next best thing to be in there. We'll start pulling power. We'll go nose up a little bit. Drop collective. Place up 31, 29, passing 8.4 for 190. Opposite pedal. Found the zip string. American 147, Southern Center, 119.95. 119.95. Turbulence. Using it in there. Probably a little slow, but that's okay. Let that sit right less than 500. Round effect. Get on the center line a little better. Sandwich 4930, contact at 125.72. 2572, Wasn't too bad of an approach, a little slow maybe. We'll give her some right pedal there. There we go. Walk it back to the parking spot. It's a good little flyer. This will be fun. So thank you to the Cohen Simulations for this one.
So my helicopter skills are a little rusty, but I feel them coming back. And this is the kind of control you got to practice, practice, practice. That time you think you're good, go practice some more. I've got the tensions just about perfect for myself. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Okay, we can bring that landing light off. There we go. Got those pedals feeling right. Get back on center line. Oh, there's a touch. Don't know if I need to do any adjusting on the uh, cyclic or not. Trying to leave it at default best I can. I say cyclic, I meant to say collective. That's where you. Normal speed of 1678. Find the sweet spot. Do the control dance here. Get back on center. No touch. Don't kill the man. Don't hit the Alaska plane. We'll go for that second one to the left. Come back, baby. It must be the wind. The windmill me a little bit here. Uh, Two forty three, clear direct idle. Thank you, forward. Two forty three, direct idle. Okay, so at this point, yeah, so we're being blown to the right. Counter. Shift focus up ahead. Yeah, we're being blown. Not too hard, not too fast. We'll take it. Uh. That's the same old problems I've always had. can turn avionics up. Pedo heat off. I'm not worried about any of the frictions. Let it coast down. Safety off. I hate when it does that when you, man, 
just bugs the crap out of me. Well, that butt kicker feels good. So we got air conditioning up here. I forgot to turn that on. We got the uh, rotor brake right there. Generator can come off. Then I get a hold of that brake. Oh, mouse. What's going on? The mouse wants to stay way over there. Well, can't get it with the mouse. What's going on here? Oh, well, we'll let it coast down. All right. We're done. Okay, we go back take a quick look. <coughs> Can't get my in game menu to pop up. I don't know what's going on with that. The buttons quit working over there. Huh. Oh well. So you can step out like that in cockpit mode and you can open up the doors. And there she is. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Nice little helicopter. All right. Catch you on the next video.